Hello all. Welcome to Garden Spaces. George has lost his voice again, so I am standing in for him. We'll be doing several variations of the wicking bucket. Stick around until the end of the video to see the blooming tower version. But first, let us give you an update on the progress of the Greenstock Vertical Planter. This is first day of planting. This is a little over four weeks after first planting. They have filled out enough for us to take our first harvest. Darcy will be headed to the dehydrator with all the greens. George has picked a heck of a day to work outside. George has challenged himself to making a low maintenance water wicking container using a, new to me, water wicking plate in five minutes or less. This is the water wicking plate that I found on Amazon. I'll leave a link below. It is self-adjusting to fit most 5-gallon buckets via the flexible tabs on the perimeter. So, start. 5-minute countdown. When inserting the wicking plate in the bucket, keep it level and push it just a little at a time. The tabs will bend the deeper you push the wicking plate. Push it down until the wicking tubs touch the bottom of the bucket. Just take your time and you will get there. These are the wicking ropes. The rope comes as one piece and you need to cut it in fourths. Insert the two wicking ropes into two of the wicking tubes on the wicking plate. More on the other two wicking tubes later. When filling the bucket with potting mix you might put in a little at a time. Keep the wicking ropes upright as you fill the bucket. When you put in the first amount of potting mix, use your finger to force the potting mix into the two open wicking tubes. These tubes will wick also. Continue filling the bucket with potting mix keeping the wicking ropes upright. You had better hurry George. The clock is ticking. Fast. After the wicking ropes are covered you can dump in enough potting mix to reach a level to plant your plant. This planter can go several days without attention. I have another wicking container that I only water every four days or so. A lot will depend on the plant you have in them and the temperature. I chose these two bubblegum petunias for this planter. One of the nice things about this 5-gallon bucket is that I can move it around the yard as needed or even inside for a special occasion. Continue to fill the bucket with potting mix until your plant reaches the top rim of the bucket. Not to be an alarmist George, but 5 minute time limit is upon us. Soon. You had better hurry. Like fast. One plant might have been enough, but, I'm impatient and want them to fill out quickly. One of the nice things about this EZ project is there is only one hole to drill. Oops. George forgot to drill a hole in the bucket. It should have been the first thing he did. Better late than never. 
3/8 inch hole 3 and a half inches from the bottom of the bucket. Now back to work. Fill the voids around the plants with potting mix. I can't stress enough to use potting mix, not not potting soil or garden soil or dirt. How's the time George? Have you checked it lately? While George is fiddling around with this, how do y'all like the music? Let me know in the comments below. It is time for George to water these plants and fill the reservoir. The water will filter through the potting mix and drain into the reservoir. You can tell when the reservoir is full by watching the drain hole George drilled. George chose colorful plants for the bucket projects today, but you could grow tomatoes, peppers, several lettuce plants, and many other vegetable plants. We'll call time here. So sorry George but you ran over your time. That's 6 minutes and 22 seconds. Still a good time. You will still get a trophy for participating. Like the TV commercial says. But wait, there's more. Wait till you see what George has planned for the next bucket. Cutting this water wicking rope is tough. I'll try something different. I'll use my PVC cutters. But first, Let's wrap the area to be cut with some electrical tape. These PVC cutters slice through the rope like butter, except for the last two or three threads. I finished those off with my pocket knife. Now we have a nice smooth cut without the frayed ends. In this bucket project there will be two holes to drill. One hole just large enough for the PVC and a drain hole in the bucket. I place the water wicking plate on a block of wood for support and drill a hole for the PVC with a small hole saw. The water wicking plate slid into place much easier in this new bucket rather than the used bucket that was used in the first project. Now I'll cut an angle on one end of the PVC. This allows the water to fill faster. I used my PVC cutters but you could use a hacksaw or just about any woodworking cutter. Even an angle grinder or a dremel. Now, I'm placing the water wicking rope in the water wicking tubes in the plate.
Now I'll drill a 3 8 inch hole about 3 and a half inches from the bottom. We are now ready to fill the bucket with potting mix. Make sure to keep the wicking rope upright. Also use your finger to force the potting mix down into the two unused wicking tubes. They will wick water also. I bought this petunia several weeks ago and put it in one of Darcy's horse trough raised beds. It has sure grown and is beautiful. Fill the voids with potting mix. Now fill with water until water runs out the drain hole. But don't go away. I have something else to add to this planter. That is full enough. I think a black-eyed Susan Vine would complement this petunia just fine. I think I'll put up something for it to climb on. Something tall. This trellis can be adjusted to fit a variety of planter sizes. This is a three-legged trellis so began by putting three of the leg standoffs in the bucket. One standoff in each third of the bucket. Push them all the way down to the wicking plate. I've already adjusted the trellis wires to the diameter of the bucket. Pick up the first layer and guide it over the standoff in the bucket. Assembly instructions are on Amazon where I purchased the trellis. I'll leave a link in the description below. Black-eyed Susan vines have a long bloom period during the summer and fall. I'll post updates as this project progresses. I'm placing two seeds on each leg of the trellis. I'll thin one out after they have put on a few inches of growth. Now for the last leg of the project. I'm adding one more section to the trellis. I'll have to reach high for this. Maybe it would have been easier with the bucket on the ground. Black-eyed Susan Vine is a fast grower and we should be seeing blooms sometime in July. Thank you for watching my videos. Sorry about my voice again. Maybe it will be back next week. If not, I'm sure Bob will be willing to fill in for me again.